Hello, Human Flea here, back with another episode of Warriors Rush 3 Hyper. Where last left off, we finished off all the battles that we had to do in order to distract the demon army from Odawar Castle, and now we'll be invading Odawar Castle. But first, I need to see who I am playing with. Zhang Lao! Okay, this should be growth points. We have level 10, hopefully I can get a good weapon. Oh, I thought I had a lottery ticket. But damn it! Only twin axes, nothing good. I've already talked to those two, so let's just jump right on into Odawara Castle. This is the final battle for Chapter 1. Again, I'm hoping you can't hear my dog. Oh well. Due to the victories at Shuchun and Nagashino, a crack was finally made in the siege of Odawa Castle, as a furious Kiyomori Tyrus split his force and sent him to both locations. I just realized he has things on his armor that specifically cover his nipples. Finally, an opportunity to present itself to the Resistance Army. Hanbei Takanaka hurriedly gathered, hurriedly gave the order for his army to advance. If they could liberate Odawara Castle, the past would be changed and a new path would be opened before them. With the future of Shroud in despair for so long, finally a light had begun to shine through. It looks like Shima Zhao and Ma Chao were successful. You're goddamn right they were. The enemy's attention has been diverted and the army surrounding Odawara Castle has shrunk considerably. However, it is still surrounded, which means it is still in danger of falling. That's where we come in. You've done your part, now leave the heavy lifting up to us. So, she's... Shimazu is part of the siege. I heard rumors, but it appears he really is working together with demons. I should participate in this battle and show him just how I really feel. <gasps> okay, so for this fight... Okay, I already have an idea of which, where, which way to go at the start. Preparations... Stuck with the twin axes for now, increases life gauge and defense. Usually I go increase life, increase Musu. For my general thing, so I might have to do increase life, increase attack. Oh, he's a technique character. I actually have something I can actually talk about a little bit. Uh. First of all, I want to see what he's fighting stuff. Basically, what do you expect with someone with two axes? Now, he's a technique character, so I'm going to take a guess. X attack? Increase the speed. Sometimes people attacks will actually cause status effects. If you want to see what they are, just go to team info, hit Y, and then you can see their attacks. Whoa, that's pretty cool for a second one. Let's see what the stage 3 one is. One, two, three. X. Whoa, okay, that's cool. Let's see what is... I'm sorry, I missed that? Okay, spin and then slash in the air. Cool. Oh my god, it's Miyamoto. Is he dead? Okay, gates open, let's go. So yeah, me and my friend were actually going to go... Uh, me and my friend were hanging out last week, and, uh, we were actually just kind of bored, so what we decided to do was watch one of the Godzilla movies. Oh, man, it was fun. It was Godzilla Final Wars, the most recent Godzilla movie from Doho. Uh, it was fun. It had so many different monsters in it. Holy shit! 
Yeah. That was awesome. It was a good Godzilla film, but they could have focused more on Godzilla. Most of it was just the humans trying to stop an alien invasion. The aliens were using the giant monsters, but you just want to watch. You really just wanted to be a bit more focused on Godzilla. And now I've heard that there's actually going to be making a new Godzilla film for 2014. Unfortunately, I have some problems with it. Number one, it's American. If you don't see the problem with that, then obviously you've not seen. I think it's 1998 Godzilla movie. Oh, God, it was bad. And also, apparently, it's supposed to be focusing more on a human soldier. That's not what we care about. It's a Godzilla movie. They're not supposed to make... S no, but they're not supposed to be taken seriously. I can use Final Wars as a good example of that. They're not supposed to be, like, some big thrilling s saga. It's just supposed to be fun. Also, this is something I've complained about this game. One more... This character decision. She's Sun Shang Zhang on the left is a bow wasted is the bow wasted princess. That's her nickname. She doesn't use a bow in this game. Bow wasted princess doesn't use a bow. The fuck. Dope girl power. Also, Kai looks like she's topless most of the time. If you can't see the bottom of her, like right now, it looks like she's naked. But then you see, oh, okay. Whee! So yeah, they're apparently they're focusing more on the soldier instead of the person. We want to see Godzilla. Like, the, the, the peep Like, uh, it's literally the namesake. That's what we came here to see. Like, for the final wars, what it did was it had a plot, but it didn't ever go and get into depth. It didn't depth at all. Yeah, there are aliens, but we know barely anything about them. We have no real motivation. They have no real motivation about why they want to take over the Earth. How they were able to do the things they do. No, we were given little to no information, but we were given what we needed. We weren't... Didn't have to rely on all the extra crap. Like, yeah, it was... Some, like, trying to think of it in depth, it's gonna be a bit weird, but... You're not supposed to, it's just supposed to be for fun. Final Wars understood that, but... If you focus on the person... If you focus on things other than Godzilla, it's gonna suffer for it. You don't need that much detail. It's a Godzilla movie. We're not expecting a frickin'... Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a frickin' Oscar nomination. All we want is just frickin' see a giant monster destroy a miniature city. I have no problem with it being set in America. Hell, as far as I'm concerned, it's just a city... MIYAMOTO! <gasps> How will Nintendo survive? I have no problem with it being set in America, but as far as I'm concerned, as long as it has a city with big buildings to smash, I'm good with it. Like, it really doesn't need much else. Just decide to kill these three people. Wait a minute. Two, three... And speed boost! Oh, that's useful. Especially if I use it right after I get speed. Ooh, that would be very useful. So yes, Daji is taking the. Oh, I can't believe I mentioned this. Daji is taking the main keep. You can go attack. Her. You have to go defeat her in order to progress further in this map. Uh, I'm just gonna warn you now. It will be a trap. You'll be locked in there and forced to fight her. So yeah. Okay, so now I can proceed into the castle. One, two, three! Speed boost! You wouldn't think a guy carrying twin axes would be that fast. So, yeah. I have a, So, yeah, that's some of the problems I have with the uh, Godzilla movie. They're making bad decisions. Again. I just don't want to see another remake of the 1990... Yeah, I should stop saying the date, because I'm still not entirely certain if that's a uh, real date or not. But we don't want to see something like that. It was bad. We didn't like it. I have heard that apparently they're going to be introducing two monsters. I have no problem with that. I think having Godzilla fight another giant monster, that's what he was born to do. As far as I'm concerned, that's what Godzilla was made to do. That's, what, again, one of the flaws with the other Godzilla films. So I'm all for introducing two new monsters. 
kind of makes me a bit excited about what those monsters will be like. Because, like, I don't know, it's a different idea. Usually it's based off some regular creature just blown up and then added some extra features. Like, um, Angerus, he's basically an armadillo. Rodan's a pterodactyl. Uh, they literally just have a giant spider and a giant mantis. But apparently they're new enemies, so not going to be any King Ghidorah stuff in this one. I'd say this is a good excuse to use this. Wait, when did you get here, Hoto? Hoto. Ho ho. Ho ho. I see Daji in the middle. I'm not sure if this will... I don't think it'll kill her, but it should weaken her. And this should hopefully finish her off. If only I was so lucky. Oh well. Not that it really changed much. In fact, it changed nothing at all. Hmm. But yeah, I am kind of excited for a Godzilla movie. There is the Pacific Rim movie coming out uh, later this week, actually. Well, North America at least. So, that should be cool. Like, giant monsters, giant robots fighting the giant monsters. But again, I have some issues with that one as well. Mainly, they move too fast. Because that's the thing. When you have something that big, it has some weight to it. it it's not just going to move like a friggin' ninja. Like, it, like when the old Godzilla movies, sure, they were moving, but they still looked like they had weight. Like, relative to everything else. Like, a, a game that actually did, like, size really well is Shadow of the Colossus. Great game. Like, that, like the entire game is based around 16 giant monsters that you have to kill. But when they move, they don't move quickly. They move at a these like pace where it actually like seems like okay you can take one look at it like okay they have weight to them it's not easy for them to lift their giant limbs and giant sword arms it makes it so that it actually looks better and it actually feels better as a result if you have everything moving so quickly then uh. I really would just prefer if they just let Toho do their thing yet again because they're the ones that made all the Godzilla movies. Like, they're the one. They are the ones that made Godzilla a household name. Not an American company. I can tell you that much. Hell, the freaking Godzilla one gets ridiculed. Just look at the nostalgia critic review for that one. That review is good. Hilarious. It's funny, because I actually remember I had a bunch of Godzilla toys. Like, I. Admittedly, I've only watched two Godzilla movies, Final Wars, like I just told you guys, as well as the American one. But as a child, I liked it, but that's because I had nothing to compare it to. What I remember is that I actually had a bunch of Godzilla toys. Like, all I knew was there were monsters. Like, I had an idea they were Godzilla, but i never actually seen any of the movies, so I couldn't confirm it. What I had were, um, a Ro I remember specifically a Rodan toy. Just a giant brown pterodactyl thing, it was cool. The Space Godzilla one as well. That one I remember specifically. Blue, big crystals jutting out of its spine. I think I remember having a green Godzilla one as well, but I think if I remember correctly, the hand fell off. And you could push the plastic back just enough so that the little wire that held its shape, you could actually just poke that through the hole. Yeah, good memories from my childhood. I also have one of the... Uh, American Godzilla. Well, he's just American Godzilla was just called Zilla, as, as far as the actual lore goes. He's not even Godzilla. He's just Zilla. Oh, one thing I have to say in Final Wars, one of the best scenes is just when actually Godzilla actually does show up. He's frozen in ice for most of the movie, but he goes around fighting all the monsters. He slaughters them. Like seriously, the fights between them only last a few minutes. He's like. They just last so, they're just so short. But at the same time, it's like cool that way because it's like, okay, so yeah, it's like you're trying to face against a champion. It's like, oh, he just got destroyed. Okay, that's just me. Shimazu is a bit interesting because apparently he just wants to go on whoever side has like the least chance of winning, which is why he was on the demon side, but now that we beat him, he decided to join our side because our side has less chance of winning. Yeah, he's a weird guy like that. I just have good fond memories of Godzilla, even though I've only seen the one movie. 
I just want to see a good Godzilla movie, goddammit. All I want to see is Godzilla smashing shit and fighting a giant monster while doing so. I understand that there's going to be some human characters. You have to have something. You have to have at least some semblance of a good plot line. I understand that, movie 101. Also, for any of people interested, there was a level where I said, Oh, wait, I thought there was supposed to be someone at the end of this before I got to uh, Kiyomori. This was the level I was thinking about. Kaiji Mata. And that was the person I was thinking of. This is for... This is for making me seem stupid. Yeah. It just looks pretty badass, to be honest. He does look like a villain. Smash, 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 Ah! Truly, the twin axes is better than the spear. Okay, Kiyomori Tyra. How about the? I still like how all the enemies do move in slow motion, like even while this is active. Basically, you can go hunt down and kill the rest of them easily. Okay. I'm not sure if this will kill them or not. Probably won't actually now that I think about it. Nope. That's where Mooster kicks in. Oh, come on. Yeah. I said die. Die. There we go. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? Just kill the leader. I think I'm gonna take a piss. Hard battle. Drank a lot of wine beforehand. Ooh, free meat. That's a note of free meat. The stairs. Huh. Nice view apart from the lava. And the giant jutting spikes. <laughs> Thanks for coming for our assistance. Because of you, we were able to defend the castle while our lord is away. And I did all this while talking about Godzilla. Oh, we should have Godzilla vs. the Hydra. That would work well for us. <laughs> Although, I'm not sure I believe this whole thing about you coming from the future. But we have the DeLorean. I believe them. If you really are capable of such a feat, I think a battle against the Hydra would be a most interesting gambit. I want to believe it, because if it's true, they might be able to ha help Master Musashi. Okay, does he just, like, pose like that naturally? Oh, no, no, it's okay. This is how I, uh, this is how I stand naturally. Not that I'm complaining. Explaining, mind you, it's just something that irks me. Well, like they say, seeing is believing. Kagya, yeah, if you would. Ah, uh, it's so bright! And cutscene! Yeah, we did it! Oh, girl talk. Get away from me, woman! Push. You know, it seems like this that make me forget she's a warrior princess chasing a ninja. Woohoo, we can do it! Can't say I blame them for watching the two scantily clad women chase each other. What? We're males. That's what we think about. I like how he just walks around with a stick like that. <laughs> it really is just a beating stick. I can think of no other way to describe it. Now that we've rescued Odawar Ka- uh, You know what? This is going to skip automatically so I'm not going to bother reading it. Okay, so now we can actually think of a plan to stop it. Now that we have a bit more force. So, we had to go track down the Shuton Doji for one of them. The big badass demon. 
Apparently, he has something that'll help us defeat the Hydra. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we also have to find Daji, the royal bitch with the two blue balls. Because she might have some useful information, so she might know one of the Hydra's weaknesses. And lastly, we have to follow Kiyomori Taira and stop him from mind controlling anyone else and break loose anyone else he has mind control. So, other than, all of them are really good strategic places. One to help, one's a lead that we can use to try and defeat the Hydra, one has information that we could use to defeat the Hydra, and one is going to be used to lower the Hydra's forces. So, yeah, we got three missions to go through. Hoorah, motherfucker. Who fucking raw? And now uh, the characters in your lock. Sun Shang Shang, the bow-waisted princess that uses two giant metal rings. Huh. Also, I don't know why, but I just look at her, and I think... Why is her belly button? I just feel like it would, would just be peek either be in there or just peeking out from underneath her shirt. It looks weird that, that, that she doesn't have one. Oh, basically, I just want to say, all these warriors are ba- they're- most of the warriors, at least the nice warriors ones here, are all from Wu, so, woohoo! Woohoo! Zhao Kuo! Right, she uses a giant fan. Two giant fans. Ding Fang! Two giant metal- two metal gauntlets. He's a puncher, that one. What is this? What is this? A model for ants? Yoshihiro Shima Shimazu uses a giant hammer. Kai, the warrior princess with a sword. Huh, for some reason I thought we had another person. What is that five or six? Twin axes, twin axes, iron sword, iron sword, discard both of them. Iron lance, iron lance. Crap, he's full now. Oh, cool. Significantly increases attack, but lowers defense. Yep, five new people. Oh, right, hers is a whip blade. Not just a regular sword, it's a whip sword. Like Ivy from Soul Calibur. Now we have Battle of Hasato, Kyushu, and Anagawa. Oh, and Battle of Mount Xingxi. I th think this is another kind of side mission, so... Yeah, 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 wallpaper for everybody, and a new costume for Zhang Lao. Cool. Okay, I do believe we have unlocked some more side missions from this. I'm thinking of one in our particular, which... I'll get to once the loads. Oh, also the camp has expanded. And we can have, go into the tea house. Okay, so he's just, uh, story recap. I'll get into the tea house a little later, once we need it, basically. Okay, let's see what Zutai and, Sang and Sun Chang Zhang have to say. Princess, I fought Lady Lianchi in Nagashino. You did? So she's okay. Thank goodness. However, that means she's still under their spell? Yes, but I believe that is not taking fully hold. I knew it. I shouldn't have run away. When the high Jason was, well, we fled from Wu, Lianchi was captured while trying to protect me. And then she fell victim to the sorcery. Not wanting to hurt her, I simply ran away. However, now I see that was a mistake. I should have stayed with her and tried to help. Princess, we should go back and try again. Rescue at Tao Shui is now available. The rescue of Leon Shi. Woo! Do you guys have anything important to say about? Oh, right. Rescue a Donku to save Miyamoto. Because Nintendo games should always live on. Change is like, huh? Can't think of anything good to compare it to. Look at the way he's just standing there. How many people do you know just stand casually like that? Whatever. So now we have actually a few more side missions unlocked, which means Unfortunately the story mode is gonna be pushed back a little. <laughs> oh well. You know what, I'll see if I can get the side mi- I'll see how quickly I can get the side missions done. I might post more videos in one day. I think I'm gonna start doing that, because I kinda want the series to go by a little quicker. Definitely more than just one battle a day. 
But this battle's gone long, long enough, so I will see you guys next time for... Hmm. Let's go for the rescue of Tau Shui. Alright, see you guys next time. And if you have anyone you would like to see me play as, please be sure to leave a vote in the comments. Bye!